Hello out there and welcome to English Future Plays. We're here with Rhino Runner, which is a new game. It's on Steam and we're going to play. Hold up. So there's no sound, uh, at least in this bit. So um, I'm hoping there might be... Oh, maybe we'll check the settings. Resolution. Nope, there's nowhere to change the sound. We'll just click in. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're a very strapped rhino looking dude. Hold on a sec, I'm just gonna turn the music down. So there's music. Okay. Okay, so we can jump. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So do we lose? Right, so when you fall off you don't actually die, you just have to restart it yourself, that's fine. Ooh. Okay. So, so far, um, it's like pretty straightforward stuff. Yeah. I mean, we don't even have to engage with these things, right? We can just go around them. Okay, so... What happens if we get hit by these? They just block us? No, we can just stand on them. Okay, nothing happens. These will definitely knock us off, though, so let's avoid that. Oh, I died. So those actually killed us. But there's no, um, there's no actually in-game sounds, it's just, uh, just the music. Not saying that that's necessarily a problem, but it is, uh, it does, it is symptomatic of not great games. Where they've grabbed some royalty-free something off the internet, and then, uh, haven't bothered putting any sound effects in the game because, um, there's, see, I don't even have to, you don't even have to engage with that. Okay. Right, so we're a rhino, we're wearing these pink shorts, and we are running, sure. There we go. There's not actually a timer or anything, so I don't, hard to, hard to say whether we're doing well or not. Oop, nearly got killed. Definitely don't want to get killed this close to the end. Okay. Hey, now we just need to not get killed. Okay, so we made it. Okay, they're faster this time. Do these kill us as well? Right. So these, are, so these red things will kill you. And the wood things don't kill you. Okay. Right. Right. And there we go. Oh. What is that over there? Oh, no. I was, I was trying to be clever. I was going to go see what was on the, um, on the banks. But that was a bad idea. Okay. Sure. Well, I'll fast forward until we, uh, get past this level. Go look at some other levels because it's not it's not gated because that requires uh hey it's a different track that's fun right okay
And this one's a little bit more reasonable. Yeah, I don't mind the, the music. Okay. Oh. I didn't realize there was another one there. Happens. It does happen. Right. So we're doing all right. Yeah, these aren't actually barriers or anything. All they do is block your visibility, which I guess is a type of barrier. Okay. Yeah. And we made it. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the big jump things. It's dumb. Okay. Of course. All right. Uh, I just want to kind of we're gonna. I want to take a little tour through the through the different levels. Okay. Same track again. Well, now we're on an island somewhere. Oop! We fell in the water. So I don't hate this. Um, I mean, it's not the most compl complicated game, is it? But uh, it doesn't need to be, I guess. Right. So... Yep, just go around that bad boy. Oh, we can't get there. Okay. And we're up. And now we have multiple choices as to direction, of course. It's an open world RPG. That's what we're playing. Woo. Yeah, I hate the swingy things. Not a fan. Yeah, and there's no checkpoints or anything. All right, uh, we're just gonna we're gonna keep plowing our way through. So now we've got both songs playing at the same time. It's actually like three songs playing at the same time. That's so weird. Okay. All right. Well, let's keep going down. Oh, this one's back to just having one song. I guess that's good. Like, is there a better way to go here? Cool. We made it down here. I guess, oh, here we go. And see if we can make it back to the uh, the level by, by going along the side. Nope, Skyrim's not gonna help me here. Oh, here we go. This looks like a path up. Nice, so we've bypassed like a good chunk of the game there. Oh. Right, we can't, we still can't get up there. Okay. Oh. So that's what we're supposed to be doing right now. But instead we're going the cheaty way. Okay. Oh, that can take us back to the actual level, or we can... 
Or we can take our chances around the side. Let's take our chances. There doesn't seem to be any reason not to go this way. Like, there's no lava or anything. So we're just, uh, we're cheating our way through the level. Which seems fine. Oh, now, now there's, uh, water. Okay. So this is actually much shorter than the last one. Let's see. Um, but it looks like it's a little bit harder. Yeah, the best way to engage with the obstacles is to not engage with them. That is what I have discovered. Alright, we'll try this one more time. I'm gonna die again, and then we'll go look at the final, um... The final one. Right. Yeah, it looks like there's no, uh, wrecking balls on this side, so that's good. Which is why they put these in, I guess. Right. Oops. Yeah, that was dumb. Okay. Uh, one more one more level to, to check out, I guess. One more level to check out. Okay. So the least complex level is level 9. That makes sense, I guess. Oh, we broke it. Right, of course. All right, we're, we're going to try and beat level 9, I guess. Because it doesn't look overly complicated. you got to watch out for that crack. Yeah. Okay. And we made it! Yay! And last one. And as long as I don't screw the pooch here, it should be all done. I think the game crashed. Yeah, there's, there's nothing happening. The uh... Oh, there we go. We got an achievement. Find balloons level 9. That's what all the achievements have been. Okay. Oh yeah, the game fully crashed. Of course. Well, that means it's time to go look at the description. Let's go do that. Alright, Rhino Runner. Runner game where Rhino needs to find balloons in different maps and avoid deathly traps. Sure. Uh, developed by Terra Lunka. Oh, nice. It's been a while since we've played anything by Terra Lunka. So, welcome back, Terra Lunka, to the world of developing. It's probably they have been just developing the whole time and I haven't played any of their games happens yeah cuz uh, Valkea software the versus platformer bundle okay player uh, cur sorry it currently costs dollar 79 player character is Rhino man and his mission is this platformer runner game is to find balloons in different levels eight different maps there were nine levels contain moving objects rotating objects moving deathly traps like moving spikes and moving balls also falling from map or if player hit water. Player is killed and level needs start again. So be a hero and make accurate jumps to avoid traps and find balls. Nine maps, oh, now it's nine maps. Deathly traps like moving spikes. Falling out of map or hitting water will kill your, will kill player rotating objects. Sure. And I have two friends that already own this game. Hilarious. Um, so yeah, so it currently costs $1.79. So for $1.79, I actually don't, mind this you know what I mean because it functions I mean it's not good or anything but it's probably a dollar 79's worth of entertainment if you are into uh, platformers or you know just kind of ragey games there's nothing wrong with that um, with a simple game with a very low price 
I think at full price at three bucks, it's it's that's a that bridge that's a bridge too far. Um, what we need is you know 99 cents probably uh, or free. I don't know 99 cents because I think people should be able to charge for the stuff they make. So Terra Lunka Games, also known as Va Valkela Software. All right. Right. So we've got Rhino Runner, Music Man 2. Yeah, so they're still on their um, developing cycle, but uh, yeah, it's been a while since I played anything by them, man. To be fair, they've only published one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is the twelfth game this year, so it's actually not that many. Not that many. Um. Wow, where are my potatoes? Oh, that was the last one we played, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember playing Where Are My Potatoes. We definitely played that. Pretty sure if I click in here... Yep, I gave it a negative review, because it was just another one of these games, man. Yes, Lava Place speculally can respawn and die again. Bugs will be fixed. Yeah. It is a... Yep. Yeah. So I gave it a I gave it a negative review. Um, look, it's the problem with this developer specifically is that it's the same uh, it's the same five games they're turning out over and over with slightly different skins, slightly different models, um, and using slightly different engines. It's all assets. Um, there's very little coding involved. They're not actually spending a lot of time doing them and then they're just throwing them up onto steam for the hundred dollar steam direct price and seeing what sticks i don't know what they get out of it but i mean i guess maybe they're a developer the same way that i'm a youtuber in that uh youtubing is not my main source of income and i just do it as a way to relax at night rather than as a way to make money maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're just using it as a way to relax and they like uploading them and they don't mind spending the hundred bucks even though no one's ever going to buy it. So yeah, I don't have a lot of feedback here. Um, you know, what what kind of feedback do you give to someone that publishes, that published 12 games this year already? Make less games, make them better? Yeah, uh, they're not gonna take that feedback on board so I'm not going to waste my time giving them feedback. Anyways, I am going to leave that there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment down below if you want to check out uh, more terrible games. There's a, you know, playlist here, you know, uh, remedial steam garbage, lots of games like this. Uh, the videos are pretty short, but they're sometimes pretty funny. This one wasn't super funny because it mostly worked. It was just not amazingly interesting. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Class dismissed.